All right, so it's that time. Every Friday we host this guy, this amazing guy who is, uh, of course, economist and mentoria CEO. Ken, glad to have you this Friday. How has your week been? Excellent week and great to have. Thanks for having me, Noah. Oh, perfect. So we hit the road, mm -hmm. right? Starting with the first issue, the Monetary Policy Committee. Uh, they had a meeting and they decided on a number of issues. Of course, we see the Monetary Policy Committee decided on, uh, they say that the private sector credit grew by 3.4%. Is that reflective of on what is happening in our economy today? Oh, that's a very low number. 3.4% private sector credit growth. It's a very low number for this economy. Mm -hmm. Typically, that number used to be about 20% before the interest rate cap was put in place. Mm -hmm. So when that number goes that low, it tells you SMEs are hurting, mm -hmm. people can't access credit, and SMEs are not doing very well. And that's why you're seeing a lot of companies issuing profit warnings mm -hmm. and a lot of small businesses um, closing down despite economy growing by 6.3%. So I think the thinking is they need to do more mm -hmm. to stimulate access to credit. Yes, definitely. Yeah. They also said, you know, the private sector credit are uh, rather over overall inflation declined to 4.1% mm -hmm. for an exchange with uh, stood at 8,251 million USD. Uh, that is close to 53%, you know, uh, the, the foreign cover. But the key issue is retained the CRB at 9%. What does this mean? Because this has been happening since last year, July, around there. You're absolutely right. This is the fi fifth meeting where they're retaining the CBR, the central bank rate, at 9%. It pretty much means that if you are borrowing at 14%, uh, that's going to remain as it is. Mm. But the problem right now is since the interest rate cap was put in place, uh, monetary policy is a bit broken. Because typically when you reduce interest rates, you end up... Uh, increasing how much money goes into the economy when you increase interest rates you reduce how much money is but with the interest rate cap coming in it's sort of like inverted that process so that's why a lot of people nowadays don't pay too much attention in fact if they reduce the cbr lower it might have inverse effects so i think the thinking right now and the governor is coming towards the end of his first term mm -hmm. part of the thinking is in his second term should he be able to influence the interest rate cap being lifted so that the economy can return to where it used to be, a more vibrant economy where credit really used to reach every part of the economy. Yes, definitely. Uh, that is Matters Monetary Policy Committee. World Bank loan, the subject of discussion, of course. Uh, this guy, the World Bank extended us a 75 billion shillings loan uh, to Kenya. And people are asking, are we in a position to take more loans as a country, considering that, you know, our, our debt to GDP ratio is over 50 percent? According to CS Rotich, he yes. says yes. He says it's up to 75% debt to GDP. That's when you should not um, go beyond that. Mm -hmm. But really, if you think about it, part of the reason the economy is slowing down mm -hmm. is because too much money in taxes is going towards servicing debt. So we might not hit the theoretical uh, barrier of 75%, but already mm -hmm. we can see government is practicing some austerity measures, mm -hmm. slowing down on development projects, so that it can service debt. Yes. Now, this World Bank loan of 75 billion shillings mm -hmm. came only two weeks after we issued the euro bond. The problem I found with this World Bank loan is it, for the first time, and this is not taught, um, common with World Bank loans, yes. they said this was for budgetary support, mm -hmm. which I find it a very broad term. Typically, World Bank loans are very project specific, mm -hmm. and that's been one of the criticisms of projects of uh, money from other sources, that they're not very specific. Yes. So I think for the World Bank not to push for project specificity, mm -hmm. I think that. I think for me that was, um, quite a, concern. That was a major and concern. And Rotich say that we have sealed all loopholes when it comes to matters corruption, which is subject to discussion. Mm -hmm. uh, but before we wrap up, uh, lastly, there is uh, derivatives market launch. Yeah, this is quite a huge step considering we are the second, you know, uh, you know in Africa after Jobag. Uh, what does this mean uh, for the market? I think it's a very exciting um, step. Mm. I think it's something market participants have been asking for for a long time. Why? Because it increases the liquidity in the market. But for the sake of the viewers, what is a derivative? Mm -hmm. and a derivative is really a product whose value is derived from an underlying asset. It could be a commodity, it could be a currency, it could be a security. But the challenge is we don't have a commodity exchange yet in mm -hmm. Africa. 
So to create a derivative on top of that, when the commodity market exchange hasn't really, it's in, still in parliament, mm -hmm. still hasn't been uh, ratified. I think for me, that's maybe, I, f I felt that was maybe putting the, the cut before the horse. But I think the fact that we are second in sub-Saharan Africa, mm -hmm. it shows we are leaders in the thing. But I would really love to see the commodity exchange bill where commodities, soft commodities, tea, coffee, maize can be traded. Okay. That's when you can have a very vibrant derivatives exchange because you have all that good stuff happening down there. All right. Thank you very much, Ken. That was a nice chat. Well, it's a pleasure. Keep well. Okay. Yes. You're good? Thank you. All right. Good to see you. That is Ken, right? And uh, I have very, very insightful details on matters, you know, a weakened perspective and what has been happening in the market and in Kenya as a whole. But that is where we put a full stop. We shall be having, of course, trading bells later on. And uh, this week, as the second season comes to a close, there is something special in store for you, so don't go far, but from I and I, no keep the boy. It is...